Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to combine the material editor with some cool video effects to create this cool little smoke reveal effect here. And if you can see here we can use many different types of videos and get a bunch of different cool effects going with the common theme being that whatever is on the screen is being revealed on your face. Now I used some videos of some smoke particles, but you could use whatever you want really, as long as there's like a white background so that it, you can distinguish the colors. So let's first add a screen image which will open up an orthographic camera. And then we're going to create a new render target for that orthographic camera, we'll just name it ortho. And we'll put it in that render target. Okay, and then we'll make sure that the orthographic camera is set in the scene config so that it is outputting correctly. And let's set this image to fill for the stretch mode. And let's add a new empty graph and start building. And we'll add that to the image as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a 2D texture. And let's just preview what these videos look like here. So I'll add them in here and then Here's the blue one, which is a really cool, like, smoke falling effect. Maybe like smoke and ink or something. So then we can also add the render target as the input as well. And you'll see that it kind of stretches out here. And to fix that, we'll just go into the parameters and change the UV coordinates to custom and we'll add a screen UV coordinate node and attach that. And now it's back to normal. Okay, so now we're going to want to split the channels here. So we'll create a split vector node and then a construct vector node. And we'll attach those in between and then we'll attach the R, G, and B channels and we'll leave the W or the alpha channel empty right now. And right now it's at zero, but you're not seeing any change. And that's because the blend mode's set to disabled, so we'll set that to normal and check the alpha color mask. And then we're going to add a new image as the background. And we'll put that behind the effect. And I'll just add an unlit material that's colored white so that we'll see a white background. Okay, so now if we change that alpha value, we'll see that we can actually start seeing the alpha change in the image. That's what we're going to be feeding the smoke video into. So if we just feed it directly into that alpha channel as is, you'll see that it kind of just creates this white smoke effect, which is not exactly what we want. So what we're going to want to do is actually split this video up into a different channels as well. And all we're going to need is the red channel for this one. You can kind of play around with the R, G, and B channels depending on what colors you have going. And if we add one minus node in between, then we'll actually be able to kind of reverse the effect so that the smoke is the only thing that's being shown is the alpha. And then if we want to add the color to it, we just add an add node after that construct vector and feed in the original video. So now it's kind of blending the blue colors together with the alpha. And that is the basis of the effect, so you can kind of interchange whatever videos you want. So we'll try this red one. That looks pretty cool. We also have this pink and blue one, which is also pretty sweet. So now what would be cool is we could add some segmentation to this so that only the person's body is being shown in the smoke and not just the background as well. So we're going to add a segmentation texture and we're going to use the portrait background segmentation. We'll make sure to invert that so that it only shows the person. And you'll see that we kind of have still the background being shown in the orthographic camera. And we can fix that by checking clear color 
and then we'll change the color to white. So now we have the segmentation with a white background. And now we'll see that the smoke is only being shown where the person is. And that looks pretty cool. So we could also add a little bit of control to this and we could allow the user to maybe turn the segmentation on or off. So let's add a script and we'll bring that into the scene. And I'll just call this segmentation controller. So let's open up that script. And first thing we're gonna wanna do is input both the camera and also the segmentation texture. Alright, and then we're going to add those into the script from the inspector. So I'll just drag those in. Alright, and then we're going to need to create a variable. I'll just call this segmentation. This is going to be a Boolean variable, meaning it's either true or false, and it'll be true by default. And then we're going to create our tap function that will fire every time the user taps the screen. Okay, so now that we have that working, first we're going to want to check if segmented is true. And if it is, then we're going to first set segmented to false. And then we're going to remove that segmentation texture. So we're going to do script.cam.mask texture equals null. And that'll remove it. And then we'll do else, which means if it's false, we'll set segmentation to true. And then we'll set that mask texture back to the segmentation texture. So now it'll just kind of switch back and forth between segmented and not segmented when the user taps the screen. You can kind of see that a little bit on the front camera, but if we switch to the back camera, you'll see it much easier here. So now if somebody wants to like use their rear camera, they don't need the segmentation for it. So yeah, that is basically the effect. Um, like I said, you can use a lot of different types of videos for this effect. Um, you could also even use some different effects within Lens Studio, uh, like using particles as the input. Well, that about does it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, feel free to share your creations with me. I would love to see what you can make with this. Happy creating, everyone.